this is the sword you Thrasiel struck me with. Could this be the eternal sword? <laughs> no way! Nobody'd leave a sword that important in a place like this. How about we take it to Heimdall and show it to the Elder? Good idea! That way we'd know for sure! You have not the right. Ow! What happened? A waste of effort. You Drassil. The Eternal Sword cannot be touched by those who lack the right. The right? You must be talking about the pact with Origin. That's the sword you Drassil tricked Origin into giving him. You really are a pathetic bunch. It matters not. Origin is under Kratos' seal. Either way, it is impossible for you to wield that sword. And without the power of the Eternal Sword, you cannot reunite the worlds. Your journey is futile. Futile? You're the one who's making futile attempts to bring back the dead. Besides, what does splitting the world in two even have to do with that? The worlds still exist only because they were separated into two. No. It's because of being split in two that there's not enough mana, and countless people are suffering. Think for a moment. Why is there a shortage of mana? Well, what do you think, my fellow kinsmen? Me? Because the development of Magi technology resulted in a large consumption of mana? Yes. And that Magi technology led to a great war. War consumes an abhorrent amount of mana. Don't change the subject. There's a mana shortage because you won't let the great seed germinate. I am not changing the subject. Even if the giant tree were to be revived, another war would make it wither. Wars are caused by two opposing forces. That is why I split the world in two. To isolate the powers that caused that foolish Karlon war into the worlds of Silverant and Tetheala. By alternating between prosperity and dearth, the development of Magi technology is subdued. So that was your plan. Although at the moment, Tetheala has prospered for a little too long. You're sacrificing a great seed just to save Martell. That's right. The same way you abandoned the declining world of Silverand in order to save Colette. That's... Uh... What you're doing is exactly the same. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not! Void isn't like you! What? Void is looking for a way to save both Colette and the world. You're a coward who gave up. It is the same thing. I am trying to create a world without discrimination. That is the way to save the world. A world without discrimination? That's... People fear and hate what is not normal. They are scared of those that are different. The solution is for everyone to become the same. By using the X-Spheres to eliminate the different bloods that flow through elves and humans, everyone on this Earth will become the same lifeless beings. Discrimination will vanish. That is the grand age I strive for. Everyone? The same? Yes, the Zions and Crucius both exist for this purpose. The conflicts between the races born from discrimination will disappear, genius. People will stop treating us differently? Really? Genus, don't fall for it. Think about how the X-Spheres are made. They're made at the cost of people's lives, like marble. Don't you see what's wrong with that? With revolution comes sacrifice. If you cannot understand that, then you deserve to die with the others. However, first, we'll hand over the Chosen. No, I won't let you! You have no 
choice. I'll show you the meaning of true power. Okay, there we go. Phronima, why are you here? Sir, uh, new activity in regards to that certain matter has... Understood. Not always is there a way to save everyone. Remember that. Lloyd, the path you seek is nothing but an illusion. Let us go. It can't be. It can't be. What's wrong, Genus? N nothing. Lloyd, we must treat Colette as quickly as possible. Right. Let's head back for now. Well, Gaia was quite a place, wasn't it? Yeah. I've been acting depressed since a little while ago. Don't worry, Altessa's going to take care of Colette. Ah, yeah, you will, right? I hope she gets better soon. It doesn't sound like Colette was what's on his mind. Yeah. Let's go to Altessa's place. We need to cure Colette. Altessa! What's wrong? Colette's collapsed! That's a tongue twister. Do you have the necessary items to cure her? Please save her. You found out how to cure it? But what can I do? We want you to make something called a rune crust. I remember the process as described in the book. Let us hurry, master. Alright, everyone else go outside. I wonder if Colette's going to be okay. We've done everything we can. He's right, Lloyd. Have something to eat and calm down. You can't eat at a time like this. Don't say that. How about some carrots or a potato? I really don't want any. Hey, what's with you and Genus? Why are you both acting so gloomy? Yes, what's wrong, Genus? Mythos. Actually, um... 
treatment is complete. How's Colette? She's sleeping now. When she awakens, her body will be back to normal. And the Crucius Crystal should be fully controlled by the Rune Crest. That's good to hear. I see. Now Colette doesn't have to suffer anymore. Okay, then let's have dinner in celebration of Colette's full recovery. What's with you and wanting to eat so much? Because we're best friends, right? I'm worried about you. You've got to be tired. Looks like you're good friends. Yep, doesn't it, though? Are you tired too, Genus? Mythos, we're friends, right? Well, of course, what are you talking about? We're really friends, right? Yeah? I believe you, okay? Now I feel sleepy all of a sudden. I'm going to bed. Not good for your digestion if you sleep right after eating. Are you alright? Your fatigue may have finally caught up with you. I'm fine. I'm just going to lay down for a little while. Body. I can't move. Do you want to meet your father? Huh? What have you done with my dad? Kratos? The Renegades and Crucius are enemies, aren't they? So why... Quiet. Of course, the drug should have everyone sleeping soundly. Drug? Where's my dad? If you've done anything to my dad, I'll tear every last one of you to pieces! Now, now. Is that the way to act when you're about to meet your father for the first time? So it was you. You were the assassin who tried to kill me at Hyma. Kratos, if you value your son's life at all, do as we say. What are you talking about? Release Origin's seal. Otherwise, Lloyd will die right here. No. Kratos can't be my dad. I, I can't believe that. I won't believe that. How does it feel to have your own son reject you like that? Hmm. <laughs> I guess from your attitude, you don't plan on releasing Origin. If that's the way it's going to be, then you'll just have to die. Uh. One move, and your son dies. You changed once you got a family. Just like that time 15 years ago, when Anna was transformed into a monster, you lost your ability to fight back. What? If she hadn't been together with you, she would have never turned out like that. Such an unfortunate woman. Don't mock my mom. Kratos? Are you alright? Good. What am I... what am I supposed to believe? Lloyd, calm down. It's not true. Kratos can't be... the man who betrayed us and made you suffer. He couldn't possibly be... my dad. Lloyd, don't lose sight of who you are. No matter who your parents are, no matter your background, you're still you. I'm... me? You're the one who told me that no matter what I look like, even if I become an angel, I'm still me. And don't forget, 
Grotto saved you. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. <sighs> but I still can't call you Dad. Lloyd. I hate what you... what Crucius does. Too many people have died. People from Silverlon, people from Tetheala. Desions and renegades and members of Crucius. They're all victims. I refuse to accept the idea that it's okay to sacrifice people for a cause. It's not okay to lose any life. No life should be born for the sole purpose of dying. I won't sacrifice the world to save Colette. I'm not giving up until I find a way for everyone to live. Wow, that was an amazingly corny speech. Congratulations. Lithos? Did you think I didn't notice what was going on? How pathetic. They had Pronemi keep tabs on Kratos, since it seems he was leaking information to Lloyd's group. Damn it! Yggdrasil! How the hell did you find out? What? That was a pretty amusing scheme you had going. Hard to believe those filthy renegades that were always getting in my way were actually led by you. If it weren't for my sister's wishes to spare your shouldn't have trusted me? Good guess, Genus. Because I didn't trust you either. <gasps> Mythos saved me. Shut up. Mythos saved me. Mythos. How could you do that? You even risked your life to save her! Mythos, why? Why are you doing this? How could you hurt Tabitha and Altessa? You got along so well with them! Tabitha... That doll looks so disturbingly like my sister. I never could stand her. She's a failed vessel who couldn't accept my sister's soul. Just looking at her makes me sick. You little bastard! How dare you betray my best friend! Lloyd, stop! Please, you're both my friends! <gasps> Lord Yggdrasil, your wounds are not yet healed. Please, leave this to the angels. Okay, um, so by the way, no, Mythos and Yudrasil do not have the same model, and they don't have the same voice. They look similar, but, I mean, yeah, past that. Okay, and what I was going to say again? I was going to say a thing. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, we're, I was actually supposed to have an additional scene here. But uh, I screwed up one of the affection values. I thought I had time to do it between the Tower Salvation and this cutscene, and I did, forgot that we were led from one to the other directly, so. That is beat up some angels. Oh, I want to say Colette is also an anime blonde, not just Adrasio and Mythos. But I mostly just find hilarious, it's just like... 
the one person we know named Mythos is like, surprise, it's the same one. No life should be born for the sole purpose of dying? What do you think those extras are that you're using? Oh, Lloyd. Don't talk, don't push yourself. Altessa saved me. Please, Professor, please save him. I'm doing everything I can. Ethos, why? Why did he do this? Abatha. Well, um... Fate. Fate. I'm so sorry. I failed to protect you. Are you alright? With this, all of our efforts have been rendered useless. We planned to form the pact with Origin and use the Eternal Sword. Correct, and then we would use the Mana Cannon to destroy that Infernal Tower, allowing the Great Seed to sprout. That was our plan. Upon learning of your existence from Design Insider, I was certain I would be able to force Kratos to participate. Did it improve of Mythos' Age of Half-Elves? That plan was the result of a twisted perception of Martel's last wish, not what she truly desired. What was Martel's last wish? She said she wanted to see a world free from discrimination. You shouldn't move. No, there's no time. You must evacuate the renegades before they are killed by Yudrasiel. Wait, is Kratos really the only one who can release Origin's seal? Yes, the seal would be released upon freeing the mana from his body. If he does that, he's likely to lose his life. Yes, the seal is based on his own life. Kratos' life? Are you saying we have to trade his life in order to get the elemental sword? Yeah, the eternal sword? Lloyd, you won't be able to use the eternal sword. It does not require the power of a summoner. You must merely be acknowledged by origin. However, there is one thing you cannot do anything about. What do you mean? Yudrasiel Mytho said that too. Only half elves can wield it. That sword was created by origin for Mythos. What? Is Altessa going to be alright? I managed to administer first aid using the unicorn horn, but we should bring a doctor as soon as we can. Yeah, like us, Altessa isn't using an X-Fear. Healing arts won't be very effective. I know a good doctor. We called him from Flanora when our chief suffered a serious injury. Let's go there, Lloyd. Let's call the doctor for Altessa. Okay, Flanora, right? Let's go. Now I think I can go. Okay, awesome. Mythos was re really was Yudrasiel. Venus, you knew it, didn't you? Why didn't you say anything? Because I didn't want to believe it. He was my friend. He was so nice. Venus, don't let him trouble you. Don't let him lead you astray, do you understand? I know, I know, but the tears just won't stop. I wonder what the Pope was up to. Who knows, he probably wanted to rule in place of the king. What a fool. Well, anyway, now that he's out of the way, I can relax a little. And discrimination against half-elves may soften some, too. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Just because the Pope has fallen does not mean people's minds will change that easily. That's why they've got me to help, the great Zelos, friend of half-elves. His kingdom still has r some rough days ahead of it. Huh? Or Zelos? 
What is wrong with him? Why is he wandering off at a time like this? We don't have a choice. Let's go see the doctor first. So why do we have to come way out here just to find a doctor? You want just any doctor regardless of skill, there's plenty available. But with a severe wound like that, there's only a few who could save him. We won't get anywhere by standing around talking about it. We need to hurry. Yeah, I know. Hang in there, Altessa. Doctor. Doctor, I think. Maybe. Yeah. My honest is that weird rock they had me ingest. Use that to make the ring of the pack. Huh, can I really do this? Delos, there you are. Why are you mumbling to yourself? What? Lord, you're late. The hospital's right here. Come on, hurry up. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. Doctor! Oh my, if it isn't Sheena. It's been a while. How is everyone in Mizuho? It's an emergency. We have someone who's about to die. Oh my, it sounds like things aren't quiet and peaceful. Stop standing there chatting and hurry up and get ready to go. It'll cost you. How can you talk about money at a time like this? I'm not running my business as a charity. You. We'll pay anything, so please hurry. You're taking advantage of people when they're in need. Fine, we'll give you as much as you like. How much do you want? Let's make it payment upon success. First, I need to see the patient. Travel expense and hazard pay will be billed separately. Fine, whatever. Then please give me an escort. Let's see. The three of you will be good. Do you mind if we have this doctor right on your riard? Yeah, okay, I guess I'll wait here in the city. Who is it? Come on in. Hey. Do you have a sec? Sheena, what's up? You want to come outside with me? It's snowing and it's really pretty. Sure. Everyone's asleep. The world looks so peaceful when you stand here like this. Yeah. Even though up above us, Crucius is busy planning its absurd age of lifeless beings. <laughs> lifeless beings. Do you think discrimination would really go away if everyone became lifeless beings? I doubt it would. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I'm human, but the people of Mizuho and the other humans of Tefeo have always had a gap separating them. Even inside Mizuho, I always stood out. Maybe Mythos despises the blood of both races that course through his body. Maybe so. I can kind of understand that, too. Because you're from Mizuho? Well... Since I can make pacts with summon spirits, I probably... I probably have elves in my ancestry somewhere in the distant past. Really? Apparently, only those of elven blood can call forth summon spirits. Not just magic, but any technique that uses the mana of the natural world requires some elven blood to be flowing through you. Then Kratos and Zelos too? Yeah, they might have some elven blood in them. Just like me. I see. The instant I made the pact with Kareem, people around me started to look at me differently. And I thought to myself, this is what it must be like for half-elves all the time. Did you ever wish you were different? <sighs> I've lost count of the times I wished it. Especially since I caused the deaths of the people in my village. But it's because I have this power that I met Karim and all of you. Yeah. If you didn't have your summoning abilities, someone else might have come to kill Colette instead. When I think about it that way, I think that everything a person possesses is important in some way. In other words, you have your summoning abilities because they're needed. Yeah. My power, Colette's power, Kareem and Genus's elven blood, and everything you've received from your parents. They're all needed, and that's why they're there. We're all needed, and that's why we're here. 
I think you're right. I think every single life has meaning. Me too. I started thinking this way lately. And when I did, it's like a great weight just lifted from my shoulders. To know that it's okay just to be alive, you know? Well, yeah. That's a given, isn't it? <sighs> Wasn't a given for me. I failed in my duties and I ran from making pacts. I always thought of myself as a burden. I see. But after seeing you say exactly what you mean and not holding anything back time and time again, I started to think that maybe I could just be myself. Really? I, I don't quite get it. Really? I think I started to think that way because you lived your life in such earnest. Uh, I think that's a compliment. I wish Mythos could feel that, too. Mythos? If he lived his life as earnestly as you do, maybe he wouldn't be able to snuff out the lives of those who are trying just as hard to live. I don't know if we can get that across to him or not. But I'm going to fight him for the sake of creating a world where we can live our lives the way we want to. Are you planning to make the next move? Yeah. I don't see the situation improving by allowing Crucius to go about their merry way. I agree. I don't like just sitting around and waiting to see what happens. Right? You and I think a lot alike, Sheena. I think we could become great friends. Great. Friends. Oh, you, you don't want to? <sighs> Idiot. How's Altessa? We left the doctor there just in case, but it seems that he's fine for the moment. People from Mizuho are tending to him as well. Good. I need to speak with everyone. The world is never going to change if we just wait for Crucius to make the next move, right? So this time, we're going to strike them first. Well, so you're finally ready to do it. We're going to raid Crucius. Yeah, I have two objectives. Prevent the establishment of Mythos's new age and release Origin. But if you release Origin, what about Kratos? I don't really know yet. We don't know for certain that he'll actually die. We also don't know if he'll side with us or not. We don't have the time to worry about things we're not sure of. What do you intend to do about the Eternal Sword? Even if you break Origin's seal, you can't wield it, remember? And I doubt either Genus or I would be able to handle a sword. Don't worry about that. I've got it covered. What are you talking about? Why do you think I can use magic sword? I received magic injections with the latest in Tepeala technology. In other words, I'm a human with elven blood in me. That should work, shouldn't it? Then I guess this will be the final battle. Understood. Let us end this. For the sake of uniting the worlds. Yeah. I'll do my best, too. Colette, I need you to stay behind. Why? They want you as Martel's vessel. We'll have either Mizuho or the Renegades hide you. If that's what you want. No, I'm going, too. But... <laughs> I get it. You don't think you can protect him. That is so sad. Wh what did you say? Don't worry, Colette. I, the great Zello, swear to protect you. Zellos! Take her along, Lloyd. They're gonna be after her no matter where she is. You ought to know that by now. Be a man! Show her what you're made of! We actually have the same opinion for once. Sorry, Lloyd, but I agree with Zealous this time. All right. Colette will come with us, okay? Thank you, Lloyd. And everyone else, too. 
Does Tech Fiala really have a technology like that? It sure does, for some weird reason. All right, let's go kick some Crucius butt, Lloyd. Zelos, I trust you. What? What are you talking about? Well, of course I can understand that you're counting on me. Just place your faith in me. Faith, huh? I hope so. Yeah, yeah, come on, let's go!